Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today, I first of all, I guess what I want to do is wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, you know, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. I don't even know these days, but you know, and if it's just a weekend for you, Happy Weekend. Uh, but I do want to tell you that I found out something. I've always believed in Santa Claus. I've always gotten nice gifts at Christmas. And this year, I've got some news. I hope I don't, you know, tell you something you didn't know and ruin some idea about where Santa comes from. But I can tell you he comes from Sydney, Australia. <laughs> I just found that out. It's crazy. I didn't know that. I imagine he came from the North Pole. That's what I've always heard. But no, I think he comes from Sydney, Australia. So, I got this package. And there's a couple of amazing things about this package. One, it was only shipped like a week ago from Australia, Sydney. I mean, who else can get a package here that quick other than Santa? Because I know I've shipped things to other countries and it takes forever to get through customs and all that. So somebody's got some pull with DHL. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. It's got to be Santa. And also, who would give me some free gifts like that? I mean, other than Santa. So, yeah, I think I found him. And I think I know his name. So I hope I'm not ruining something for you guys. But his name's Dave Jones. And he's an Australian. That's kind of strange, huh? No one would have guessed, probably. But yeah, that's who it is. Dave Jones and lives in Australia. Santa. So, I did a video. I got to give you some background. I did a video about um, a year ago, and I did a. It was a rant on fluke. Why do they cost so much? And since doing this channel, I've just found so many other high-end meters that cost a lot less. We're talking like a half less or more, and even with newer, better function, and just as safe, just as durable, that kind of thing. So I did this rant. Uh, because I, you know, I do like fluke and I, and I like to see them step it up. So, I think Dave must have been bored. Uh, you know, he's waiting for Christmas to start delivering presents. And he was looking through YouTube and found that video. And he left some, uh, I think there's a half dozen good comments about why they might, you know, reasons. Why they may, may cost that much. And so I did a video on those because I kind of wanted to reiterate or to elaborate on my comments from the year before. And he gave me some really good talking points. Well, it turns out he did a video on those talking points as well. I guess he was inspired by that and thought, hey, I'm going to do a video. And since then, man, I think he's got like 300,000 views on that video. So way to go, Dave. And I've got some really high views on my video as well. We posted them the same day. His came out a few hours before mine did. And was, that was just interesting that that happened that way. And so, I got a couple multimeters out of the deal. <laughs> I mean, who would have known? That was awesome. Uh... I, I was actually looking into his meters, and I've been looking off and on over the years, thinking i got to buy one, and just wondering which one I should get. And I've got so many meters, and I've been kind of, you know, anyway, I've been caught up in reviews for, for the season and all that. And so I just, a, I, I bought so many meters that, you know, once uh, uh so when these videos came out, it got me interested in his vi uh, meters again because I thought they're a great example of some of these other meters I have that are what I consider high-end that you get much more value for your money than you, you can elsewhere. And so anyway, I opened this box because I packaged because I, I, I just didn't know what was coming. And turns out um, a couple multimeters. So... I was impressed by how fast they got here. They come in bubble wrap and they come in a white box, which I really like because I, I hate it when I get a really fancy package. You know, one of those packages are so nice you don't even want to throw them away. And you just feel like you're 
you know, part of the money you spent on the product you wanted went into that package. The marketing people behind it, the engineering behind it, the deck, you know, all that stuff. So, I I love this, and I love how he he called it the EEV blog, no bullshit packaging, and you know what? It's recyclable too. So now this one has some a notice here to update the firmware. Um, it's the 121 GW meter. Okay, so some of you guys might know that meter. I I couldn't decide on which meter I wanted to get of this. And I think I left a, a, a comment on to his comment on my channel about that. And he thought, well, don't decide, I'll just send them both to you. <laughs> so that was really cool. But wow, it comes with batteries. That's, that's cool. Okay, turns right on. But that's a nice meter, nice size. And that thing is packed full of features. I'm going to do a full video uh, review on this. This is just a... A thank you to Santa, Dave Jones, and uh, thanks to all you guys for watching my videos for the year. It's been a great year, and I really appreciate it, and I'm really happy that, wow, what else we got in here? Oh, of course we got leads. Okay, like I said, we're going to do a review on this, but uh, we got a thermocouple in here. Holy cow. And look at this. There's even a set of fuses. He's had three, three extra fuses, so I wonder if that just came special in my box. Maybe he knows something <laughs> about me. Hey, man, I don't go through fuses like that anymore. Um, so this meter, another white indiscriminate box, perfect. EEV blog, no bullshit packaging, awesome. The BM786 multimeter. So, that is pretty sweet. Let me see what, oh wow, I like, okay, okay, yeah. So, this is going to be really nice. Um, now, you guys know, I get some meters given to me, and I just kind of point out what I see, and uh, I am super happy with these, so I really hope I like them as much as I think I'm going to. Now this one looks like silicone leads, another temperature probe. Okay, wow. Pretty cool. Okay, different form factor. This one is a lot more like the Fook 79. Wherever I have that 179. Oh, I don't leave a lot of my Flukes on the bench. Uh, I got my Fluke 189, which is one, well, it, it is my favorite Fluke. But you know what? Specs, I've looked at the specs on these meters and I think they're going to blow it away. So, man. There's a nice feel to these. I like the color, the blue. Um, yeah, so far, I like and from the specs. Uh, if they perform like I think they're going to, uh, they're both safety um, certified, tested by third party labs. This one's UL. And this one is ETL. So, and this one has a Bluetooth capability. It has logging capability. So, the thing about these meters that makes them high-end meters is, you know, like some of these other meters, is they're, you have more than 6,000, I wonder if I have batteries in both. Nope, not in this one. You know what? I think I did see a note. That there's something about you know when you ship things with batteries uh it's not easy and so if you ship it out of the country i think you have to put your own batteries and i think i did see batteries in the package yeah there's three energizers not the gold ones i did that video on they're energizers so that's good uh anyway um yeah lots of counts i think 50 and 60 thousand counts um true rms out beyond one kilohertz that's that's a nice feature too uh, um, lots of features built into these things i'm just looking at him like wow because he had some input on especially on this one i believe had lots of input uh like low burden that's a uh, i think a trademark name he came up with so burden is where you don't want your meters influencing or changing your measurements but when you put 
a meter in series with your current, you're going to drop some voltage. And that's burden voltage. It's part of the burden of getting that measurement. Well, this one is designed to have very low numbers. So to change your measurements very at the little as possible. Okay? So anyway, we're going to check these out, and I'll do a review on these meters. And I really hope they stand up like I think they're going to. Um, right now, as far as just, you know, filling them, I mean, this one, I mean, just feels, they both feel great. So what do you think of this? I think they, uh, great meters, um, be fun on the bench. And thanks so much, Dave Jones, uh, slash AKA Santa Claus. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it's just awesome that he even commented on my video, let alone send me a couple meters. So thanks to him. Thanks for you guys watching. And let me know what kind of things you're interested in, if you know about these meters, that you want me to review specifically, and I'll try to throw those in. Okay? All right. Hey, thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time.